New details tonight on a police chase that landed a man in the hospital in critical condition. Good evening, I'm Lauren St. Germain. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Tonight, Ray County Sheriff's deputies say they tried to pull Jordan Wattenbarger over when he led them on a 13-mile chase before he crashed his car in Bledsoe County. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence joins us now with new details in this case. Latricia and Lauren, I talked to the Ray County Sheriff and Wattenbarger's mother today. Both say their both say other lives were endangered during that chase Saturday night. What they disagree on is who was endangering them. Lisa Heiler says her son Jordan Wattenbarger was in surgery all day today after he crashed his car coming around this curve Saturday night. They don't know how long he'll be on the ventilator, but it's going to be weeks and weeks in the hospital and lots and lots of recovery. Wattenberger crashed after being chased for nearly 13 miles by Ray County Sheriff's deputies. According to this incident report, deputies were trying to pull him over for a busted taillight and incorrect tags, but he wouldn't stop. And now my son may or may not recover, and if he does, it's going to be extensive therapy over a busted taillight if he finds. The report says the tags on Wattenberger's Honda were registered to a Mitsubishi, so the deputy continued to follow him on the high-speed chase before he crashed in Bledsoe County. Deputies say they found drug paraphernalia and beer cans in and around his car and also discovered he owed more than $300 to the county for previous charges of driving on a revoked license for DUI. Actually, um, the doctor's report said he had no alcohol in his system because that was the first thing I asked. Tonight, Hyler says what her family will have to pay in damages is way more than those fines. I'm going to sue for um, reckless endangerment, 13 mile chase. Anybody else could have got hurt, anybody, not just Jordan. That endangered the police officers, the people on the street, not just my son. I spoke with the Ray County Sheriff Mike Neal about the chase. He defended the deputy's right to follow Wattenberger because he was running from the law and would not stop. Lauren. All right, thanks, Hannah. According to the report, if Wattenberger recovers and is released from the hospital, he will be charged with a third offense of driving on a revoked license. That's in addition to eight other criminal charges.